Our, our bodies should unite to stop the violent cartels and drug lords who had taken advantage of the humanitarian national security crisis on our southern border. Border security is national security, and we need to be doing everything we can to secure our southern border. For years, our senior border patrol officials have made modest requests for tactical barriers. The president's request prioritizes the top 10 on 17 priority areas the border patrol wants to secure. The men and women patrolling our borders put their lives on the line every day to keep us safe from terrorism, drug trafficking, sex trafficking, gun, gun running, money laundering, and all sorts of dangerous crimes. They routinely encounter some of the most dangerous criminals and traffickers anywhere in the world. They seize drugs that would have otherwise made it onto Ohio's streets where we're dealing with the tragedy of this opioid crisis that's killed far too many of our friends and neighbors. They've also arrested illegal aliens who were charged, convicted of crimes including sexual assault, kidnapping, and homicide. A significant percentage of women and girls entering are raped. We should be giving our personnel on the border the resources they need to do to get the job done. Nevertheless, millions of Americans want to participate in this great cause. They've contributed private funds and would like to give directly to our government. That's why I introduced the Buy a Brick, Build the Wall Act that would allow Treasury to fund, help fund this wall and make sure the resources go uh, to the cause that so many people support. We need to unite and secure our border, and I yield.